Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed method of inversion to solve problems. We have discussed the sections addition and subtraction and multiplication and division. Today, let us discuss the next section different changes. Let us start with a problem. 23 rupees was spent in buying two notebooks and a pen of 3 rupees. What is the price of a notebook? We have to find the price of a notebook. Two notebooks were bought. So multiply it by 2. We get the price of two notebooks. Then bought a pen of 3 rupees means again spent 3 rupees. The total amount spent is 23 rupees. Now to get the price of a pen let us use method of inversion. Let us come back. 3 is added and we reach 23. Now let us subtract 3 from 23. We get 20. This is the price of 2 notebooks. That is, it is obtained when the price of the notebook is multiplied by 2. So let us divide 20 by 2 and we get 10. That means the price of a notebook is 10 rupees. And you can check whether your answer is right or wrong. The price of a notebook is 10 rupees. If two notebooks are bought, the price is 20 rupees and a pen of 3 rupees is bought. So the total is 23. That means our answer is right. Another problem. When a number is tripled and then 2 added, it became 50. What is the number? We have to find the number. First of all, it is tripled or multiplied by 3. Then to the result, 2 added and we got 50. Now to find the number, let us come back from this point. 2 is added and we got 50. Subtract 2, we get 48. The number is multiplied by 3 and we got 48. To get the number, divide it by 3. We get 16. That means the number is 16. Now let us check. The number is 16. It is tripled means 48 and 2 added. That is 50. So the answer is right. Next problem. When a fourth of a number is added to the number, 30 is got. What is the number? A fourth of a number is added to the number. Means number plus 1 by fourth of that number is 30. When 1 by fourth of a number is added to the number, it is 1 1 by 4 times of the number. Let us convert this into a mixed fraction. It is equal to 5 by 4. 4 into 1, 4 plus 1, 5 divided by 4. That means when the number is multiplied by 5 by 4, that is equal to 30. We have to find the number. When it is multiplied by 5 by 4, it is 30. To get the number, let us come back. Divide 30 by 5 by 4. Now, how can you divide 30 by 5 by 4? 30 divided by 5 by 4 is 30 into its reciprocal 4 by 5. To divide a number by a fraction, we have to multiply the number by its reciprocal. Now, 1 5 is 5, 6 5s are 30. 6 into 4 is 24. That means the number is 24. Now let us check. 1 by 4th of 24 is 6. 6 plus 24 is 30. So the answer is right. Now let us do the problems on page 37. First problem. Anita and her friends bought pens. For 5 pens bought together, they got a discount of 3 rupees and it cost them 32 rupees. Had they bought the pen separately, how much would each have to spend? We need to find the actual cost of a pen. They bought 5 pens, means the price of a pen is multiplied by 5. Then they got a discount of 3 rupees, means 
from the result 3 is subtracted and the amount is 32 rupees to get the actual price of a pen let us come back from this point 3 is subtracted and reached 32 so add 3 we get 35 so this is the actual price of 5 pence multiplying the price of a pen by 5 we get 35 to get the price of a pen let us divide 35 by 5 we get 7 that means the actual price of a pen is 7 rupees let us check for 5 pence it is 35 rupees and if a discount of 3 is given that is 32 so the answer is right second problem the perimeter of a rectangle is 25 meters and one of its side is 5 meters how many meters is the other side let us take a rectangle this is length this is breadth again length again breadth perimeter means sum of all the four sides so that is 2 times length plus 2 times breadth given that one side is 5 meters so the perimeter is 2 times one side plus 2 times 5 or 2 times one side plus 10 we have to find the other side to find the perimeter first of all we have to multiply this side by 2 to the result we have to add 2 times the next side and it is given that the next side is 5 so 2 times the next side is 10 so we have to add 10 to this and the perimeter is 25 now to get this side we have to come back 10 is added and we reach 25 now subtract 10 we get 15 that is 2 times one side is 15 or when one side is multiplied by 2 we get 15 to find the side divided by 2 that is 7.5 that means the length of the other side is 7.5 meters let us check suppose this is length 2 times length is 15 2 times breadth is 10 15 plus 10 is 25 so the result is ok third problem in each of the problems below the result of doing some operations on a number is given find the number 3 added to double is 101 2 added to triple is 101 3 subtracted from double is 101 2 subtracted from triple is 100 the last part is changed a little in your textbook it is 101 but at that time you will not get a correct answer you will get a fraction so i have changed it a little let us take one by one. 3 added to double is 101. We have to find the number. First of all, it is doubled or multiplied by 2. Then to the result, 3 is added and the result is 101. Now let us come back. 3 is added and reached 101. Subtract 3. We get 98. The number is multiplied by 2 and we reach 98. To get the number divide 98 by 2 we get 49 that means the number is 49 you can check double the number is 98 and when 3 is added it is 101 second part 2 added to triple is 101 we have to find the number first of all it is multiplied by 3 to the result 2 is added and we got 101 let us come back 2 is added to get 101 let us subtract 2 we get 99 that is 3 times the number to get the number let us divide it by 3 so we get 33 that is the number is 33 3 times 33 is 99 when 2 is added we get 101 so the result is correct third part 3 subtracted from double is 101 we have to find the number double it or multiply it by 2 from the result 3 is subtracted and we got 101 let us come back add 3 at first 
we get 104. Now divide it by 2, we get 52. That is, the number is 52. Double the number is 104. When 3 is subtracted, it is 101. Now the fourth part, 2 subtracted from triple is 100. We have to find the number, first of all multiplied by 3. And from the result, 2 is subtracted. And we got 100. Let us come back. Add 2 at first. It is 102. That is 3 times the number. To get the number, divided by 3. That is 34. That is the number is 34. Triple the number is 102. And when 2 is subtracted, it is 100. So the answer is right. Now the fourth problem. Half a number added to the number gives 111. What is the number? When a number is added to itself, we get 2 times the number. When a number is added to half the number, we get 1 and a half times the number. Now what is 1 and a half? It is equal to 3 by 2. So we can understand the question like this. 3 by 2 times of a number is 111. Or when a number is multiplied by 3 by 2, the result is 111. We have to find the number. When it is multiplied by 3 by 2, the result is 111. To find the number, let us divide this by 3 by 2. Now, how can you divide 111 by 3 by 2? Division by a fraction is multiplication by the reciprocal. So, 111 divided by 3 by 2 equal to 111 into 2 by 3. 1 3 is 3 and 37 threes are 111. Now 37 into 2 is 74. That means the number is 74. Let us check. Half the number is 37. Now what is 74 plus 37? 111. So the answer is right. Fifth problem. A piece of folk math. A child asked a flock of birds, how many are you? A bird replied, we and us again with half of us and half of that with one more would make hundred. How many birds were there? The bird says we and us again means two times the number of birds with half of us means two and a half times of the number of birds and half of that what is half of half that is 1 by 4 that means 2 and 3 by 4 times of the number of birds with one more would make 100 that means 2 and 3 by 4 times of the number of birds plus 1 is 100 so we have to find the number of birds we have seen that 2 and 3 by 4 times the number of birds plus 1 is 100. What is 2 and 3 by 4? Let us convert that into mixed fraction. 2 into 4 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. So this can be written as 11 by 4. That means number of birds into 11 by 4 plus 1 is 100. We have to find the number of birds. When it is multiplied by 11 by 4, and added 1, it is 100. Now to get the number of birds, let us come back. 1 is added and reached 100. Subtract 1, we get 99. Now to get the number of birds, divide it by 11 by 4. Let us divide 99 by 11 by 4. That is equal to 99 into 4 by 11. 1 11 is 11 and 9 11 are 99. 9 into 4 is 36. That means the number of birds is 36. Let us check. We and us again means 36 plus 36 that is 72. Half of us that is 18. 72 plus 18 is 90. Half of that, half of 18 is 9. That is 90 plus 9 is 99 plus 1 is 100. So the answer is right. That's for today. In the next video, we shall discuss the next part algebraic method. Till then, bye.